Hello everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to show the fourth part of the board game Descent. In order to make our lives easier, I primed the miniatures with red, blue and black primer. This way we can proceed to the next stage, which is the shadowing. So we will begin with hull red and the highlight will be with hot orange. On the blue figure we will make the shadows with insignia blue. Then we will highlight with light sea blue. In addition, we can first highlight with cold grey and then we can create the shadows that we lost with black. The next step is to apply washes. We will apply the washes accordingly to the colors. That means black, blue and flesh wash. After the miniature is totally dry, we can proceed to the next stage, which is to paint the teeth, the eyes and the nails. Both black and white colors that I'm using is slightly diluted, so they can have a good coverage. And now we will dry brush the rocks with wolf grey. We will do the same thing on the dark miniatures using cold grey this time. That way we will create the highlights and the outlines. We will use sand yellow on the red figure. And our mandicores are ready. Time for our cute ogres. Our basic color will oddly be goblin green. The shadows will be done with dark green. We will highlight using scorpion green with 45 degree tip brush. Now we will paint all the metallic parts with silver. I painted the shields, the shoulders and the backs with glorious gold. On the cloaks I used Alien's purple as a base color and bone white. The short sheath was painted with Beastie Brown and all the leather parts were painted with leather brown. Don't be lazy while painting your miniatures. You will do the paint job once, but you will use them for a lifetime. The hair was painted with US flat brown, but you can certainly use other colors on each one to tell them apart. As usual, we will paint the eyes and the teeth with dead white. Now we will apply gloss varnish on the miniatures. We will dilute the wash with quick wash medium and we will apply black wash on the entire miniature. And now with dry brush technique, we will apply silver and gold on the miniatures to retrieve the highlights. With a lot of cautions and patience, we will use squid pink and the tip of our brush to highlight the cloak. All the figure bases were painted with matte black. So, our augers are ready.
time for the razor wings. Per pair, I applied colored primer on the miniatures. I used black, blue and red primer. We will build our shadows with the airbrush using mahogany and we will highlight with orange fire. Orange fire is a quite light color with not much coverage ability, so we will need a lot of layers of it. We will continue with more intense highlight using sun yellow. I will highlight the black miniatures with sorby gray so it will see in the next color which is B magic blue. Finally, all the intense highlights will be made with sky blue. For this pair, we will use scorpion green as the base color. It will be really easy to create shadows with sick green and then with dark green. These miniatures are the proof on how easy it is for the airbrush to create color variations going from really dark to really light. So that you won't think too hard of which color to choose for the highlights, you can easily pick the complementary color out of the color wheel. For this, the complementary color is sun yellow. We will use black on some of the pupils and red in others. And the razor wings are ready. So that's it for today, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next time. Until then, take care!